Hi, Neville Martin from Guitarist here, and today I'm looking at the Guild Surfliner guitar. Um, first thing you'll notice about it is Guild very kindly finished it in a colour that goes very well with my shirt. Um, second thing you'll notice is it's not really like a traditional Guild guitar at all. They have made guitars sort of similar to this, but it's not what you think. You think of them as a big bodied, um, the Starfire and things like that. Uh, this, this is a a really cool looking guitar. It's, it's, you know, following the current offset trend, which is no bad thing at all. Um, the body is made out of five pieces. It's a spread, as they call it, of poplar. Poplar is a, a great uh, wood for, for guitars. It's quite an uh, inert sounding guitar. It doesn't bring a great deal of its own tone to the table. So it's lovely for pickup to sit on and deliver what they do. Um, the pickups, incidentally, this is a Guild LB1 humbucker in the bridge, which they that's an early 60s designer, I believe, and Aerosonics single coils here. Um, these are really cool. Um, and the neck is maple, as you can see, some interesting kind of mineral stains there. The headstock is scarfed on. As you can see, it's a pitched back, back angled headstock like that. And it's scarfed on there, which is a, a stronger place to do it, I think, because it's held together nicely by the, the, the extra glue joint of the fingerboard going on. So that's a very strong join. Also, it's a good wood saving design. And, uh, you know, at the, this price point, which is unbelievably, um, what, I'll tell you what the price is later. You might not believe it, um, but it's really cool. It's like a bit like a Gibson Firebird kind of headstock with a, the back angled like that. Um, surf liner it, on the back of the headstock. I don't know why they didn't do it there, because I think it would have looked nice. Surfliner is the railway, a Pacific railway, coast, coastal railway that runs from San Luis Obispo in Northern California down to San Diego in Southern California. And I think this is what it's named after. Very cool, a cool name, I think. Um, it, it's it's very, very simple guitar. It's got a, 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 the satin finished neck, which feels really nice. Um, 25 inch scale length, very, very much as you kind of expect for a guitar that looks like this. Uh, a tunematic bridge with string through body uh, the six ferrules there. I like that. I like that neck plate with the G cut out of it. It's very, very cool in 60s. Um, and it's a very, very nice guitar indeed. The, the uh, Dave Burlock has done a very comprehensive review on this in issue 488 of Guitarist, which is about to come out. And uh, he, the one thing he criticised were these switches because they're on-offs for each pickup so you could it gives you lots of different settings the permutations are, are, are pretty great but a you can turn the guitar off if you have all of those in the off position the guitar is completely off you think there might have been a kind of self fail safe middle on or something but but they decided not to do this um they're a bit like the switches that you get on a, like a bedside lamp or something like that and they, that's on, on, on. So you can have all the various, various uh, com the permutations. But the guitar has a very, very nice sound. These pickups are, are eminently pleasing. Um, Dave, in his review, says that they, they've got a wiry kind of stonesy kind of sound that, that, that you, that's, it's kind of in the ballpark you might expect, but there's something extra about it. Demoed it. The, the sounds you hear are played through this Black Star St. James, which we've also done a quick video of uh, this issue. Um, and they go together really, really nicely. Um, I'll give you some sounds on it. Um, I've got a clean sound on the Black Star. It's the American sort of toned channel, if you like. So um, this, this is the neck pickup on its own. neck and middle. Neck, middle and bridge humbucker. It's a bit, just a bit more girth to that, I think. Neck and bridge with the middle off. Similar to the previous tone, but with a bit of the 
obviously a bit of the middle taken out of it. So that's a nice tone, I like that tone. Uh, as Dave says in his review, it's a kind of presuming surfy kind of sound and you could definitely get uh, kind of surfy kind of sounds out of it. Um, then I'll go middle and bridge. That's a bit more robust than the sound you'd get on, say, a Strat with that sim in that similar position, a, a bridge and middle. But because of the bridge humbucker, it's a bit of a heftier kind of sound. And then bridge on its own, which is a good wiry sound like this. It's a very, uh, very nice voice that. Um, it just sounds like a more expensive guitar than it is. Um, very simple tones. Uh, tone, volume, obviously. And that's kind of it. Um, it's typical six aside tuners. Um, it just works really, really nicely. And as you'll hear on, on the demo, I played the other channel, the, 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 the dirtier channel. I didn't have much drive on it, just enough to give it a bit of wiriness to the sound. And I really enjoyed it. It's a very good guitar to dig into. Um, and some guitars, you don't feel like you're playing them at all. You feel like there's something, it's not, ad this you feel like you're actually working the guitar in a really nice way. Um, I loved it. And the, 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 the amazing thing to me about when I discovered its price, it's 395 uh, British pounds, which is seems ridiculous for the quality of guitar that you've got. The action's fantastic. It plays beautifully, straight out of the box. And that Dave said that in in the review, it just plays like great straight out of the box. It's a very in tune sounding guitar, uh, uh, and it's it's just very very cool. I I, I have to say I I like this a, a great deal. It's it's a, it's a, a really warm to this guitar. When I first got it out of the box, I thought, oh, that's a bit strange for. a for a guild, but actually these three switches aside, which you could probably do something about if they really did annoy you, um, I, I love it. I really, really enjoy this guitar. It's a thoroughly enjoyable, friendly, tuneful, toneful guitar. So um, read the full review in, in Guitarist 488 and uh, I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.